Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes between two events. Find the elapsed time between 6.52 a.m. and 11.17 a.m. Notice that both of these are a.m. times. They're both in the morning. They have nothing to do with noon or midnight. If that's the case, then you can subtract 11 hours, 17 minutes, right here, minus 6 hours, 52 minutes. This won't work if you're crossing noon or midnight, but it will work um, if, you, if they're both a.m. or both p.m. times. Do you see you want to start with the smaller unit? 17 minus 52 you can't do, so you're going to need to borrow. You're going to borrow from the hour. When you borrow an hour, you're going to trade it for 60 additional minutes. So now you have 10 hours, and together you have the original 17 plus 60 more minutes, so you have 77 minutes. Now you can take away your 6 hours, 52 minutes without any trouble. Subtracting here, you get 25 minutes, do your minutes first, 4 hours, 25 minutes, and that is the time that passes between 6.52 a.m. and 11.17 a.m. When you cross noon, do you see this is a morning time and this is an afternoon time? Finding the elapsed time between 11.52 a.m. in the morning and 7.45 at night, you're going to pass noon here. So let me show you an easier way to do that. It's actually easier to draw a timeline. 11.52 a.m. If you were in school, this would be about the time that you would, before you go to lunch, usually. Our lunch is at noon, right here. Noon is like a new starting point when you're talking about time. So think it through, how many minutes from 11.52 to noon? Eight minutes. Now, noon, like I said, is the starting spot. So it's easy to jump to 7.45 in the evening and easily see that you have gone seven hours, 45 minutes. Seven hours, 45 minutes have passed between noon and 7.45. If you'll add these together, you can see that 7 hours and 53 minutes have passed. Now sometimes when you get this, you'll end up with something greater than 60 here and you'll need to regroup. But in this case, this is done 7 hours and 53 minutes. You can also add units of time. Your plane was supposed to take off at, at 1.34 p.m., but has been delayed, delayed by 2 hours and 45 minutes. You can actually add these times to find out when your plane will take off. 1 hour, 34 minutes. You can add your 2 hours, 45 minutes. When you add these together, you come up with 79 minutes, 3 hours, and 79 minutes. Now think about it, 79 is greater than an hour, so you would think this through. This would be an hour and 19 minutes left over. 1 hour, 19 minutes. So together you have 4 hours. You're just regrouping, that's all you're doing. 4 hours, 19 minutes. Now that's, that's an answer to an elapsed time question, but this question says, what time will the plane take off? So you need to answer the question at 4.19, either in the morning or the afternoon. While we are in the afternoon, we continued in the afternoon, 4.59 p.m.